The Sun by John Galsworthy. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Sun A Scene Characters The Girl Read by Christine G. The Man Read by Algie Pug. The Soldier Read by John Fricker. Narration read by Lucy Perry. The Sun. A girl sits crouched over her knees on a stile close to a river. A man with a silver badge stands beside her, clutching the worn top plank. The girl's level brows are drawn together. Her eyes see her memories. The man's eyes see the girl. He has a dark, twisted face. The bright sun shines. The quiet river flows. The cuckoo is calling. The mayflower is in bloom along the hedge that ends in the stile on the towing path. God knows what he'll say, Jim. Let him. He's come too late, that's all. He couldn't come before. I'm frightened. He was fond of me. And aren't I fond of you? I ought to have waited, Jim. With him in the fighting. And what about me? Aren't I been in the fighting, earned all I could get? Touching him. Ah. Uh. Did you... He cannot speak the words. Not like you, Jim. Not like you. Have a spirit, then. I promise them. One man's luck's another's poison. I ought to have waited. I never thought he'd come back from the fight, then. Maybe he'd better not have. Looking back along the towpath. What will he be like, I wonder? Gripping her shoulder. Daisy, don't you never go back on me. Or I should kill you, and him too. The girl looks at him, shivers, and puts her lips to his. I never could. Will you run for it? He'd never find us. The girl shakes her head. What's the good of staying? The world's wide. I rather have it off my mind with him home. Clenching his hands. He's tempting providence. What's the time, Jim? Glancing at the sun. Half past four. Looking along the towing path. He said four o'clock. Jim, you better go. Not I. I've not got the wind up. I've seen as much of hell as he has. Any day. What like is he? I don't know. Just, I've not seen him these three years. I don't know no more. Since I known you. Big or little chap? Back your size. Oh, Jim, go along. No fear. What's a blighter like that to old Fritz's shells? We didn't shift when they was coming. If you'll go, I'll go. Not else. Again she shakes her head. Jim, do you love me true? For answer, the man takes her avidly in his arms. I ain't ashamed. I ain't ashamed. If he could see me out. Daisy, if I'd known you out there, I never could have stuck it. They'd have got me for a deserter. That's how I love you. Jim, don't lift your hand to him. Promise. That's a cordon. Promise. If he keeps quiet, I won't. But I'm not accountable. Not always, I tell you straight. Not since I've been through that. With a shiver. No. Perhaps it isn't. Like as not. It takes the linchpins out, I tell you. God help us. Ah, we said that a bit too often. What we want, we take now. There's no one else to give it us, and there's no fear will stop us. We've seen the bottom of things. Perhaps he'll say that too. Then it'll be him or me. I'm frightened. No, Daisy, no. The river's handy, one more or less. He shan't arm you, nor me neither. He takes out a knife, seizing his hand. Oh, no! Give it to me, Jim. Smiling. No fear. He puts it away. Shan't have no need for it, like as not. All right, little Daisy, you can't be expected to see things like what we do. What's life, anyway? I've seen a thousand lives taken in five minutes. I've seen dead men on the wires like flies on a fly paper. I've been as good as dead myself a hundred times. I've killed a dozen men. It's nothing. He's safe. 
if he don't get my blood up. If he does, nobody's safe. Not him, nor anybody else. Not even you. I'm speaking sober. Jim, you won't go fighting in the sun with the birds all calling. That depends on him. I'm not looking for it. Daisy, I love you. I love your hair. I love your eyes. I love you. And I love you, Jim. I don't want nothing more than you in all the world. Amen to that, my dear. Kiss me close. The sound of a voice singing breaks in on their embrace. The girl starts from his arms and looks behind her along the towing path. The man draws back against the hedge, fingering his side where the knife is hidden. The song comes nearer. Where the fields are snowy white. It's him! Bent Don't get the wind up, Daisy. I'm here. Singing, all the, world seems bright. the singing stops. A man's voice says, Christ! It's Daisy! It's little Daisy herself! The girl stands rigid. The figure of a soldier appears on the other side of the stile. His cap is tucked into his belt. His hair is bright in the sunshine. He is lean, wasted, brown and laughing. Daisy! Daisy! Hello, old pretty girl! The girl does not move, barring the way, as it were. Hello, Jack. I got things to tell you. What sort of things this lovely day? Why, I got things that'd take me years to tell. Have you missed me, Daisy? You've been so long. So I have. My God! It's a way they have in the army. I said when I got out of it I'd laugh, like as the sun itself I used to think of you, Daisy, when the trumps was coming over and the wind was up. Do you remember that last night in the wood? Come back and marry me quick, Jack. Well, here I am. Got me past to heaven. No more fighting, no more drilling, no more sleeping rough. We can get married now, Daisy. We can live soft and happy. Give us a kiss, me dear. Drawing back. No. Why not? The man, with a swift movement, steps along the hedge to the girl's side. That's why, soldier. Leaping over the stile. Who are you, Pompey? The sun don't shine in your inside, do it? Who is he, Daisy? My man. Your man? Lummy! Taffy was a Welshman, Taffy was a thief. Well, mate, so you've been through it too. I'm laughing this morning as luck will have it. Ah, I can see your knife. The man has half drawn his knife. Don't laugh at me, I tell you. Not at you, not at you. He looks from one to the other. I'm laughing at things in general. Where did you get it, mate? Through the lung. Think of that. And I never was touched. Four years and never was touched. And so you've come and took my girl. Nothing doing. <laughs> Again he looks from one to the other, then away. Well, the world's before me. <laughs> I'll give you Daisy for a lung protector. You won't. I've took her. That's all right, then. You keep her. I've got a laugh in me you can't put out, black as you look. Goodbye, little Daisy. The girl makes a movement towards him. Don't touch him. The girl stands hesitating and suddenly bursts into tears. Look here, mate, shake hands. I don't want to see a girl cry this day of all with the sun shining. I've seen too much of sorrow. You and me have been at the back of it. We've had our whack. Shake. Who are you kidding? You never loved her. After a long moment's pause. Oh, I thought I did. I'll fight you for her. He drops his knife. Mate, you done your bit, and I done mine. It took us two ways, seemingly. Jim! With clenched fists. I don't want his charity. I only want what I can take. Daisy, which of us will you have? Covering her face. Oh, him! You see, mate, put your hands down. There's nothing for it but a laugh. You and me know that. Laugh, mate. You blasted. 
The girl springs to him and stops his mouth. It's no use, mate. I can't do it. I said I'd laugh today, and laugh I will. I've come through that and all the stink of it. I've come through, Sora. Never again. Cheerio, mate. The sun's a shining. He turns away. Jack, don't think too hard of me. Looking back. No fear, my dear. Enjoy your fancy. So long. God bless you both. He sings and goes along the path, and the song fades away. I'll be right there tonight, where the fields are snowy white. Banjo's ringing, dark is singing, all the world seems bright. I'll be right He's mad. there tonight. Looking down the path with her hands clasped. The, the sun has touched white. him, Jim. Banjo's ringing, dark is singing, all the world seems bright. Curtain. End of the Sun by John Galsworthy.